Hello, we are here today with Evan Williams, the composer of Dead White Man Music, which is a concerto for harpsichord uh, that we are including in the program today. Uh, before, Evan, before I ask you about the piece and of course the very provoking title that you gave to the music, um, you mentioned on your program notes that this piece was a, a reflection of uh, you asking yourself what kind of music should you write and who should be your models. So at the end of this process, at the end of working on this piece, did you answer that question? Uh, you know, um, in a way, I, I really didn't. Um, I guess the short answer is um, everyone. So the, this piece has inspirations from, of course, Bach and Dowlin, all the way to folks like Nina Simone um, and Philip Glass. And so it's sort of all over the place. Um, and I guess the answer is, you know, both those composers that I was taught to revere of the canon, but also those artists of uh, the 20th and 21st century who I also have come to know and love. So tell us about the concerto, this concerto for harpsichord. Yes. Uh, so basically, um, when I was studying um, as a music major in an undergrad, um, I eventually one day realized that uh, I hadn't really learned too much about composers of color or very many women composers. Um, and I was sort of uh, surprised and a little bit upset about that. Um, and so I started to think about my place as a composer, who am I as a composer? Um, and realizing that basically the only music I had studied as a student was the music of dead uh, European males. And so that title uh, is a, a very blunt title, but um, it's not meant to be uh, offending in any way. It's just a, a statement of fact of uh, the canon, that when we study the canon and when we perform just the canon, we're performing the works of mostly uh, dead white men. And of course, there's uh, a lot of influence of many composers uh, from the Baroque on. And uh, interesting enough, we're using an instrument that was, you know, pretty much one of the kings of the Baroque period. And mm -hmm. uh, it's fascinating to uh, hear how we're giving that instrument a new air uh, by you, by writing music for harpsichord and fe featuring the instrument uh, the way you are doing it. So um, tell us about the influences, all the composers that that you think had to do with the creation of the piece. Yeah, well, definitely we start off with, with Bach. We have this uh, Lutheran chorale, which is not, um, I don't use Bach's harmonization, but definitely Bach is an influence uh, in my own uh, harmonization and treatment of this uh, theme, Es ist genug, it is enough. Um, and then in the second movement, we move on to John Dowlin, his beautiful air, Flow My Tears. And the last movement uh, goes back to probably Bach, but not specifically, uh, just the idea of a toccata. And we know from a toccata is usually a solo, um, very virtuosic uh, movement, but, and, and it does have a lot of virtuosity from the soloist, but also features some group virtuosity. Um, uh, toward the end of the movement, the whole ensemble is basically asked to be soloist in this uh, great rendition of uh, the folia uh, chord progression. So every, but also, you know, like I said, uh, in between there, we have some, some jazz uh, influence, some uh, pop influence um, and uh, everything in between, I hope. Well, thank you so very much for writing uh, beautiful music and again, for featuring the harpsichord and giving the harpsichord new repertoire mm -hmm. and uh, for giving us the fantastic opportunity to play your music. Thank you so very much, Evan. Thank you, thank you.
Thank you. 